Hey guys, it's a couple weeks too late, but I needed to finish up my uh, Halloween Horror-thon. Um, I'd done three videos. This is my fourth for my what I've been watching. And uh, <clears throat> I finished up pretty well. I didn't watch as many movies the last uh, part of it as I wanted to because uh, my wife and I actually went on a trip. So I was gone for a little bit of that. I did watch some movies while I was gone. But uh, yeah, I brought some with me and watched them. But <clears throat> excuse me. But um, I wanted to just go through the last things that I watched, give you my thoughts on them real quick to wrap up my uh, Halloween Horrorthon videos. Again, sorry it was late. I've got a lot of videos coming. I've just been really busy and haven't been on here as much. So uh, first up, I've got uh, the Scream Factory. This is one of my favorite releases that they released, and it's Terror Vision of the Video Dead, because I love both of these movies. Like, love. If you don't have this in your collection, you need it. If you like 80s horror and just fun movies, that's what both these are. And I, I watch both of them a couple times a year, at least. And I watched the Video Dead. So, Video Dead's fantastic. Love the zombie effects. Just great movie. Um, just the feel of it and, and the way it's filmed. And, yeah, I just I love the effects where the zombies are coming up out of the TV with the smoke and all that. Just really, really cool movie. So, if you haven't seen Terror Vision and Video Dead... Definitely check them out, but I did watch the video dead and loved it as much as I always do. So next up, I uh, saw a new film that came out, and that is Lights Out. And uh, this movie creeped me out. It, it, it was really creepy. Um, there's the back of it, if you'd like to see. If you haven't seen this yet, I, I highly recommend it. It's uh, James Wan produced it, of course, from The Conjuring. And it was directed by David E. Sandberg, who I don't know who that is. But um, really enjoyed this movie. Thought it was well done. I enjoyed the story. Very psychological and interesting and uh, creepy with the with the ghost and all of that stuff. Uh, you know, very very creepy. So, but good movie. I enjoyed it. Highly recommend it. I thought it was very original. The whole idea of the lights being turned out and that's when it can get you. And the whole the scenes where they're flipping lights on and off and it was there and it wasn't there. That was very well done. And love that cover art too. That just really grabs you. I wish it had a cool slip. It'd make a great steel book too. So. Next up, this isn't, I mean, some people wouldn't call this a horror movie, but I count alien films as like horror films just because they're about aliens attacking and killing people. So, and I watched the new Independence Day, which was Independence Day Resurgence and this cool still book. If you haven't seen it, it's a really cool addition. So there you go. And uh, enjoyed this movie. Uh, it wasn't as good as the first one. I, you know, Will Smith wasn't in it, so missed him. But uh, thought it was a fun movie. Love Jeff Goldblum and anything he's in. So um, yeah, I mean, it, it it just it didn't have the impact of the first film. It still had a lot of the key players in it, uh, but I, I still enjoyed it nonetheless. Good special effects, good disaster type film. Cool aliens. You get to see a lot of them. You know, and they've updated their look and stuff. So. I, I recommend it if you liked the first one. So next up, uh, this movie really surprised me. Um, and it says would make Hitchcock proud on the back. And that's The Good Neighbor, which some of you might have heard of. Uh, it's a newer film. And um, there's the back of it. And a uh, really nice slipcover, too, so as you can see. But uh, James Caan, getting older, still still an awesome actor. And the whole premise is these two young men who, you know, um, decide that they're going to try to convince this guy or haunt this guy and film it. So they've, they've just set everything up in his house to where, you know, it's going to try to spook him and creep him out. But it doesn't have the effect uh, that they want it to have. And some stuff goes down. So there's a lot of things going on in this movie. It is a psychological kind of horror film. And uh, I really enjoyed it. And it surprised me a lot. And it has a crazy ending. So if you haven't seen The Good Neighbor... Uh, pick it up and check it out. It's a good film. So really enjoyed it. Um, next up, had to go old school. Watched uh, the first Critters film, uh, which I'm a big fan of these. They're so much fun. I hadn't seen it in a while, and uh, I really liked it. I wish these would get like a Scream Factory treatment or something. I just think they're, I mean, the stuff that they put out on Scream Factory and Vinegar Syndrome, I don't know why they wouldn't put Critters out because these movies are so much fun. And uh, I want to watch the other ones too. I might have to watch two tonight. But anyway, uh, Critters was just as much fun as it always has been. I love the banter between the Critters. And if you don't know what Critters is, you need to definitely watch it. If you like cheesy 80s, like, you know, PG-13 type horror films, it's it's a lot of fun. It does have some gore and stuff too. Uh, but I really like the Bounty Hunters and all that. It's just fun. So can't go wrong with Critters. Um, next up, another movie that surprised me. I saw this in the theater with my wife. 
and uh, everybody hated on it before it came out so much, and that is Ghostbusters. And they, they put Answer the Call, so it's like they added a tagline to the movie instead of just Ghostbusters. I loved this movie. Peter Venkman and Jillian Holtzman, who is, you know, the uh, Kate McKinnon plays her, she's like this my second favorite Ghostbuster now. And if you haven't seen this, I, you, I highly recommend it. I love this movie. I did an unboxing video of the Steelbook and stuff, but I've watched it again since and just laughed again. And good effects and just a fun movie. I, I really thought this fit in well with the other Ghostbusters films. And it, to me, it doesn't matter if they're women, whatever. It was just good. Chris Hemsworth was hilarious in it. And again, I'm a huge, huge fan of uh, Kate McKinnon now because of this movie. I love Jillian Holtzman. I have like a little... Over there, I'll have to show you some other time, a little Ghostbusters shrine that has like two Holtzman figures. So anyway, but yeah, great movie. Um, give it a chance. If you've heard bad things or you've listened to all the hate, just ignore it and give it a chance and look at it, you know, subjectively and, and see what you think. I loved it. So uh, next up, uh, this movie uh, called Satanic. It, it seems like it got a brief theatrical run um but it was in and out or maybe it didn't even go in i don't know i remember seeing previews for it on like imdb uh before it was supposed to be released but um it's out on uh dvd and blu-ray and uh it's kind of your old cult type film uh where these uh you know four uh people or their college age stumble across um like some stuff they shouldn't get into and uh, they witness some things and some stuff goes down and I don't want to say a lot about this because it's got some really cool twists and stuff and some genuinely creepy scenes and this movie really surprised me and I really liked it a lot so I recommend checking this out if you like the type of you know satanic cult type films I mean it felt like that 70s kind of feel I you know it didn't look 70s kind of feel but it felt that way because it kind of harkened back to those films back then so but um i thought this was a lot of fun and uh yeah it was just a good film it was well acted and uh, i enjoyed the actors who were in it and i didn't really know them for much um but yeah so check check it out uh, it's a good movie so and lastly uh i checked out uh the gorgon uh which i had never seen it actually i've seen a lot of the hammer films like i have seen the two faces of dr jekyll but these mill creek uh double pack blu-rays are just awesome and it looks really really good on blu-ray and it's basically about medusa type creature and uh yeah and what goes down it's only like 84 minutes and it says in a rural rural village a series of murders had been committed where each victim was turned into uh stone a local professor investigates and finds uh, an evil gorgon haunting a nearby castle and in search of more victims and it's got some genuinely like eerie music and very atmospheric and creepy scenes and stuff like that and i like the special effects and um you can't go wrong of course with uh peter cushing and christopher lee i mean come on so great movie i really enjoyed watching it had a really good halloween feel to it it was a great movie to watch this time of year but that that does it for my halloween horathon I, I didn't count up i watched quite a few movies um you know tried to get one in every day and and succeeded kind of i missed some days and all that because like i said i was out of town uh, but i've been really busy my wife's been sick i've been sick uh, and all that lately so fine it's good to be back on youtube seeing you guys i've been working in my movie room here i've built a bunch of shelves which they go that way too i'm gonna do a room tour soon uh because i've really kind of got this room how i want it now and it's my man cave slash movie room and these are all my steel books kind of up in this area they go up to the ceiling there but um i'll be showing that off soon so look for that video and i just thought i'd, I'd show off something fun because a lot of you guys might know that I, I'm an, I, I wouldn't call myself an artist, but I, I like art. It's a stress reliever for me, and I really enjoy doing art, whether that's painting or sculpting or, you know, drawing or whatever. And a lot of it, of course, has to do with movies because I like movies. And I uh, recently painted something for a buddy of mine on here, OP0909. A lot of you guys know Jeremy. He's an awesome guy, one of my favorite YouTubers, and uh, he's... If you don't sub to, to Opie, you need to go to his channel and, and sub to Jeremy. And uh, yeah, so I'll put his link down below. But I, I did a, he's a Drive fanatic. His Drive collection is amazing, like Drive, the film with Ryan Gosling. So you should go on there and check out. He has a video where he shows it all off and he has some amazing steel books and stuff. But I uh, just thought I'd show a piece of art off since I was talking about it. Just did this uh, yesterday 
And um, it's kind of my favorite horror icons. And I'm a big fan of like 8-bit art. I grew up with Nintendo and stuff, and I just have always dug that art form. And these are those little perler bead things, which you see in like craft stores and stuff. And I'm kind of obsessed with them at the moment because I can create 8-bit art. You know, some of my favorite stuff, like all these horror icons here, it's very simplistic and I like the way it looks. And yeah, so just thought I'd show that off because I was kind of proud of it. And you know, if, if you'd like me to do something for you, I've never done this, but I'd be willing to, you know, maybe sell something or, or do something, whatever, just hit me up and we can talk or whatever. Um, I'm not that great, but I, I enjoy doing it. So, but anyway, um, and if you're my friend on here, I'd love to do something for you too. So but uh, shout out also to a friend of mine. Uh, his name's uh, Timothy Anderson, and his page I think is called Poppin Movies. I'll put it down below. He doesn't have a lot of subs, and he reviews a lot of films. And I actually met up with him in Movie Trade the other day, uh, just by chance, you know. And he's a he's a nice younger guy who's just starting out on here, and he lives in the area where I live. And yeah, so give him a follow again. Poppin Movies. He reviews lots of films, sees lots of films in the theater, has a pretty cool collection as well. So yeah, definitely hit up OP at 0909 and Poppin' Movies and then all my other friends on here too. You guys know who you are. And uh, yeah, so there'll be more videos coming y'all's way. Hope y'all enjoyed this wrap up to the Horathon. Let me know what stuff you guys have been watching and what you've picked up lately. But anyway, have a great week and I'll see you soon.